Okay guys, so when you get to your Learning Place site, um, if you have a look over the left here, there's the announcements. Um, keep an eye on that. I think it emails you every time I add something. Um, in the curriculum documents, you've got the instrumental music curriculum. You can have a read through that. It's very self-explanatory. Okay, if you come down to level one, so these are all the things that you need to know by the end of level one. Um, we've also got strings over on the right hand side here. Um, there's 11 areas in our curriculum, okay, so they're grouped into three groups. There's literacy, technique, um, solo and ensemble performance. Have a read through that sort of stuff there. Uh, and then it's broken into woodwind, brass and percussion. Have a look through those sections. Level 2, obviously it goes right the way up to uh, level 10. Getting out of that, there's the Australian Music Examination Board uh, alignment with our curriculum. So there's our 10 levels here. And then obviously you've got your instruments and then how they line up. It, all the instruments are different, guys, so everything lines up differently. So clarinet, for example, uh, you'll notice that it doesn't align with grade one until level three. Don't stress too much about that, it's just a guide. Uh, we've also got the alignment to our method books. So we use essential elements. So you'll see level one, you should be up to exercise 79 before you uh, moved on to level two. And then there's level three, blah, 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 blah. Um, scroll down for the, the remaining levels. After that, um, there's a really great video in here, I won't click on this now, uh, but it's a fantastic for you to, to watch. We've got the Essential Elements Bingo. Now this will download straight to your computer, it won't open up on your screen. When you open it up, have a look at it. This is more for the younger students, okay? Um, now, for some reason it's gone all funky, so you might need to just change it into landscape somehow, whatever, it's in WordPad, I don't know. Um, this was given to us by uh, Christine Jabs, who's a, a fellow instrumental music teacher, so it's really great. This is really simple stuff, guys. Uh, obviously don't email Miss Jabs, email me. For some reason I can't edit the document. Alright, getting back out of that. Assignments. Now, the online theory exams, it didn't do this for me yesterday, but I've had quite a few of you contact me and say that it will only let you do 15 questions before telling you to pay money. Uh, that's really frustrating. It didn't do that yesterday, I was able to go through and complete a whole heap of them. I'll leave them up there, um, but if it asks you to pay money, please don't subscribe. Um, just close it. I'll try and find some other theory exams that we can do or I might get a little bit cheeky and copy and paste them uh, and you can print them at home or just do them as you go. The only problem is you won't know whether you got your answer right or wrong. I'll try and work out some way for you to be able to send your answers to me maybe and we can do something with that. Instrument specific tests. Um, this is most of the instruments. There's no bass guitar in there but if you do play bass guitar Look at the trombone, euphonium, and baritone one because that's all bass clef. Uh, obviously, have a guess at naming the parts of the instruments. Um, see what you can what you can work out. Now, like you've got this
Sometimes it doesn't. So keep an eye out. I'll upload this video so you guys can watch it.